It happens to me every time. I just don't care. I just relax. I don't let it bother me. I'm not going to stress it. Usually I see one, go to two cars, and after I see that one. Yeah, you commute by bus. That sucks. Yeah, I, live I go to Queens, I jump on the E train and get to Manhattan. Oh, shit. Well, I, I take the train, it's like 850 discount rate. And I dollar thirty five. I get a card, just like a passport. I pay twenty five cents for the bus and the subway. I just haven't got the fucking thing done. But I'm gonna get it. It's like a, it's like you have to sort of passport picture with it. Like if they go on the bus and say, "Show me your card," I take out the card from DSS. It's not good enough. I've been challenged twice in nine years. Shit. And I said they say next time we won't let you on. I said okay, I'll see you next time. I never see that bus driver again. And I did. What are they gonna do? I said I'm not paying anything. What are you gonna do about it? I'm only going two fucking stops. <laughs> Call the police here. By the time I get off the bus, I'll be in my apartment before the police come. And you're not calling the police here because you have to make the whole bus stop. <laughs> right? I wouldn't stand out there. <laughs> you know, the drunks are getting out of the bars right now. And they come down here speeding, beeping their horn. You're going to jump left, right, and fall down and run you over and just keep going. <laughs> Happens every day. Watch the news. Not out here, because we got our own private police department. I haven't seen a cop car in a while, have you? You see a cop car? No. I just lived here for three years and a half mile away down in Limburg because I had one bedroom. My son moved to Arizona. First he went to Long Beach, came back. His, his son's mom's boyfriend had a three, two family with a Lee apartment basement in Valley Stream. He sold the house. The kid went to Arizona. He went to school out there. He's got two bedroom. He's uh, just turned 28. No, his son just turned 34. He has three grandchildren. One's in Copenhagen, one's in Mexico. Doesn't even speak English. He's born in San Diego. The kid doesn't even speak English. Yeah. His name's Balim. You know what that means? Jaguar in Aztec. Balim. Jaguar. It's cool. To my son, what's your name, James? Your name, James. I'm named James. I'm from a name for my grandfather. Yeah. You know? Keep the name going. Your first one son should be named. I named him James Wallace II, he should have been James Wallace the third. And we'll tell the kids his name is Seamus, which is Irish for James. Seamus. It's Irish for James, Seamus. Yeah, oh, you like WWE? It's alright. I watch it with my kids. I watch it once in a while on Friday night, because I watch Dateline. It comes on earlier. Look, guys, there's another hey, bus. Look. I told you. They'll keep coming this way. They get backed up. Sometimes two of them will come and be right behind each other. I'm standing across the street watching them on Merrick Road. We don't have we will. Uh, that's two. Maybe one more. I told you when I came here, there'd be three buses going the other direction. I said three. You know, one time, I came from the Freeport Library. I was, I was waiting for a bus. I, seen, I saw like five bus. Five Go the other way, exactly. I'm down, there, I'm down there on Merck Road, waiting for a bus. The first bus comes uh, non-service. The next come comes express. And then the other bus came 10 minutes later. So I had two buses going in one direction, four buses going the other direction. Yeah, can't get a fucking break. That sucks. I like to look at Google to try and get out to start to wait. Then I just give up. Yeah, I, I just stand there and wait. You know, I wait five minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour. What the fuck? Either I'll just walk. Yeah, man. Unless yeah, I'm going, I went to Belmore, and at my doctor's office is on Belmore, Newbridge, and Merrick Avenue in Belmore. His name is on the fucking building. He's the head of, you know, South Nassau? Yes. Nassau? He's the head of that foot and ankle surgeon there, Dr. Goez. He has a building in fucking Baltimore. Wow. His name's on the building. Yeah, it's the best. I go there, I have to go there every week now for my fucking toe. It's like a diabetic toe. The Dr. Goez says, I can't get you the shoe you need because it's an insurance to reject it. So I'm, my primary care would go through that. By the time I get the shoe, my foot will be healed. Oh. The insurance company never wants to pay for anything. You have to fight with them. Now, this guy's a fucking head ankle surgeon. He's not going to fight with your insurance. He knows that they're not going to improve it, so just fuck it. You know, just come every week. We'll take care of your toe. Now it's healing, finally. So I won't, I'm not a cane. I just see I got my cane, power cord. Yeah, it's like a guitar. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> it's power cord. It's a cane. Power cord. That's what you use for parachutes. No? You know what I'm talking about? I always have some with me. You know when you need it. No, I can't get it off. Oh. I say, no, no, don't worry. I get it off now. I need it. It's a cane. I just put it up there because I don't feel like holding it. Yeah, it's a cane, see? Look at that. And this is my paracord loop. It broke the loop. 
Ah, parce que 